In a previous demo, I showed you how clipping masks work, and it's a great way to edit out the uh, surrounding areas of a photograph and things like that. But I also want to show you another method for creating clipping masks, which is using the draw inside feature. So to show you that, I will go to file and open. On my desktop, I will find chapter nine and 9.2. And I'm gonna open up the Illustrator file first. Okay, so we have two logos here. Let me zoom out, take my zoom tool and option or alt click right there. And then I'll go to my black arrow and we'll take a look at our layers. So I've got a lot of layers with the three little dots. That means I can't read the whole name. Those are called ellipses. So I just pull the right side out so I can read all those. And I'm going to strip off all these layers. Okay, for the bottom logo, I have Thor with his drop shadow shapes. And then the red letters. And then the words, the mighty. Okay, notice how this layer is locked, but this layer is not locked. So leave that. The layer that is unlocked is where we're going to put our photos. We want to put our photo inside the word Thor. Okay, same thing for the Batman logo. I have his black cape shape. I have his mask shapes. I have his cape fold lines. I have the drop shadow or blue letters. Those are all locked. And then the one we want to put our photo in is unlocked. That's the white letters. Okay, pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, zoom tool and zoom in once or twice right there on the Batman logo. Okay, we're on the top layer, the white letters. What I want to do is put a photo in there. So I'm going to go to File and place, and I'll click once on Batman Villains. Make sure under your options, there are no check marks. We want this to be a permanent part of this file. So when you click place, you wanna click and drag your photo to be slightly bigger than the word. So here's the left edge of the word. I'm gonna move over a little bit and up. And then I'm going to click and drag. This rectangle has to be slightly bigger than the word Batman right there. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take my zoom tool and option or alt click just to zoom out a little bit more. Here's the beauty. I can take this photo and push it way over here. At least I know it's big enough. Now... I click on the word and notice it selects the entire word. So I set this up to work for you. Okay. When I click on the word, if you have one object, draw inside is available. Draw inside is a shortcut for making a clipping mask, but it will only work just like a clipping mask. It will only work when one entire object is selected. Okay, I set this up so Illustrator would recognize this not as six separate letters, but one word. Now that it does, I go right underneath the red slash, draw inside, that gives me a set of brackets. This word is now a container. I click up here on my photo, I go to edit, cut, and now when I go to edit, paste, Illustrator knows to paste it into the bracketed area automatically, okay? When I'm done, to get rid of these brackets, to continue working, I double click, click, click. Now my artwork is freed up, ready for me to continue, but a black cape and black outlines makes the word Batman kind of hard to read. So here's what I want to do. Instead of the word Batman being outlined in black, I don't want to necessarily outline it in white because then you're not going to see the white out here on the white page. So I want to outline the word Batman with this gold. 
Okay, I don't know what shade of gold that was. So if I turn off the lock for Batman cape for a second and I click on that cape, it shows me what the cape is filled with. It's got a black fill and more importantly, a yellow stroke, kind of a gold. So right over here, if I have selected the gold, I can come over to my swatches. The gold is active. It's on the top right here and I click the little plus. I'm gonna save that shade of gold. I'll just click okay. I don't need to name it or anything like that. Now I take the cape layer, lock it. Now I take my black arrow, click on the word Batman. But the black arrow is not what I want, okay? When you put an object inside of another object, that creates a group. So Illustrator is gonna get confused. What do we show? The black outline, the white fill, the photo. I get question marks all over the place. So when I put a photo inside of a word, you wanna take your white arrow. Okay, first, if I zoom in, I don't like where the Joker's head is getting cut off. Everybody knows it's been done to death. Batman fights the Joker. Everybody wants to see the Joker. Okay, we wanna move him into the word a little more clearly. If you put an object like a photo inside of another object like a letter or a word, you take your white arrow. When I click, it keeps selecting the word. I don't wanna move the word. Let's zoom out. I wanna move the photo. But my white arrow keeps selecting the word. See, the word is white fill and a black outline. I'm not ready for that yet. I want to move the photo. So here is the trick. When you take your white arrow and you click, you don't want the word, you want what's inside the word. And that happens right up here. This little dark button says edit the path. The path is the tracing of the word. This little button says edit content. So just like you saw with envelopes, you want to edit what's inside the word. When I click, there's the outer edges of my photo. So now on my keyboard, I just hit the down arrow a couple of times, the left arrow a couple of times. We get that Joker's entire head kind of fitting in this scene a little better. I click outside. Now I click right here and you can see it reactivated the word. I click on my black stroke, come over to my swatches and there's the gold that I saved from before. I'll click outside and now that gold matches this gold outline right here. Cool. I'll zoom out so we can see it. Now we can read it. Space bar for my hand tool and I'll push this up. And then let's say you're at work. You got a job doing this. And now somebody hires you to do another logo, like the word Thor. Okay, so I click down here and I want to put another photo in there. So right on the same letter or layer that is unlocked, I will go to File and Place. There's my second photo. I check my options for no check marks. I want to click and drag bigger than the word Thor. So I'm going to start up here, you know, to the left and up. I'm going to click and drag a box that is slightly bigger than the entire word. So I know it's going to fill the entire word. I take my move tool or my black arrow, move it. Okay, now here's what you got to do. Put this photo inside the word Thor. Sounds simple enough. We just did it up here. But the key is I set it up for you. You have to set up this one. So here's the problem. If you click on one shape, draw inside will be available. But as soon as you hold shift and you click on a second shape, draw inside will not be available. 
draw inside like clipping masks will only work on one object up here I made Illustrator think that six letters are one big word. I did not do that for you here. There's one. Draw inside is available. Shift click, there's two. Now it's not available. Shift click, shift click. I somehow have to trick Illustrator into thinking. This is not four separate letters. This is one big word. Draw inside will only work on one object. If there's four separate letters, Illustrator doesn't know which letter to put this photo into. So it's just going to ignore you and say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to even make the button available to you. And now your boss walks in and says, okay, let's put the photo in the word. What are you doing? How are you going to figure it out? Okay. The reason why people are hiring you is because they don't know how to do it. You don't want to be the other person in the room who also doesn't know how to do it. Okay, so that's why you learn all these techniques from these demos. So the problem again, how do I trick Illustrator into thinking four separate letters actually make up one word? And that is called a compound path. Notice four separate letters, draw inside is not available. Object compound path and make now draw inside is available now illustrator is thinking these are not four separate letters it's one word draw inside click on my photo edit cut edit paste double click outside the brackets will disappear and it's ready to go. But looks kind of odd splitting Thor's face right in half. So again, if you put an object like a photo inside of a word that creates not only a clipping mask, but a clipping mask is a group. You cannot use your black arrow. If you tried to click and drag, you're just going to tear your artwork apart. So I'll go to edit and undo that. If you put an object inside of another object, go with your white arrow. I'm going to click on the photo right here. I'm not seeing the outline of the photo, so I have to come up here. I don't want to click on the word. I want what's inside the word, the contents. Now I can see the tracing of the photo. So I'm just going to hit my, let's say my right arrow. I'll hold it down. So really push him over. Then I'll hit the down arrow. We'll push him over a little bit more. And let's say we push him to the right a little bit more right there. Notice the edge of my photo. Now it's not big enough to fill the word. Okay, so you go to free transform. Constrain so you don't distort your photo. And just drag a corner out just a little bit more right there. Just enough to completely cover the word. Now I take my white arrow, hit the down arrow a couple more times, and there we go. Now we can see Thor, the mighty Thor, inside the word Thor. Now you know the secret for working with draw inside. Illustrator has to recognize the entire word. It cannot recognize each individual letter. And the way you get it to recognize a word is selecting each individual letter, object, compound, path. Compound means combine. It worked up here because I did that for you ahead of time. It didn't work here because I wanted you to see how that is actually fixed. So there you go. Now you can look like a real pro. And it's time to move on because real pros got more work to do.